Welcome back, beer tubers. Ryan here with another episode of San Diego Beer Vlog. Thanks for joining me. Going to be looking at another new beer from Green Flash. This is Pallet Wrecker. And what I mean by new is this is the first time they've ever bottled Pallet Wrecker. This has been a draft only beer. It was originally brewed up for Hamilton's Anniversary, which is a local fantastic beer bar. Highly recommend going to Hamilton's if you make it down to San Diego. Uh, so they brewed up this beer. What's interesting about this one, it's 9.5%, but it was brewed up as almost like a regular IPA. Uh, after the, uh, the wort, unfermented beer, came out of the boil, they mashed in with the grain instead of using just water. They used the wort from the previous batch, mashed in with that, used the, the wort in the brewing process again, and then came out with a you know, a combination of all that for the for this final beer to boil up. So the, it, the beer's hopped twice. I, I don't know. If you're not a brewer, you might not kind of understand what I'm getting at. But these are a unique process with this beer that you don't really see. I think they used to do it back in the day to try to make really bigger beers. But uh, the, it's an interesting technique that I don't think has ever been used in IPA. So it pours out pretty hazy orange color. A little over a finger of, you know, it's pretty white head, maybe slight yellow tinge to it. These smell of carbonation coming up. Let's get the aroma. Yeah, that's a nice aroma. It's, it's very floral and citrusy, it's my initial impression. A little bit of that resiny dankness, that pine kind of character on there. Touch of earthiness. It's, it's really floral though, a, a touch of tropical fruit notes, but not much, more of like sweeter orange, grapefruit, that kind of ruby red grapefruit character, and then a big big floral note in there, so uh, uh, I've had this before, it did wreck my palate, that was a few years ago when I wasn't quite into these big hot bombs, so uh, I'll be curious to see how this compares to the draft only version I had, so cheers. Yeah, that's a bitter beer. I mean, first sip, of what, it's not quite as intense as I remember, but if I remember correctly, the beer's fine, but the bitterness keeps building and building because right now I'm still getting a lingering hop character. It's still lingering on my palate. <laughs> it's just going to keep building up. So um, I guess this beer, I think, kind of does live up to the hype because I can't imagine drinking another hoppy beer after this one. Uh, you, your palate's just going to be like, yeah, it's a malt bomb. It's up front. Intense, piney, resiny, earthy bitterness. And that kind of transitions into like big time grapefruit, bitter grapefruit peel. Like just really like sucking on the rind of a ruby red grapefruit. You get that character. There's a touch of like maybe an orange kind of sweet citrus note in there too. Touch of a floral note kind of comes out after a while too. But it's mostly hops all the way through, but you do get some some sweetness towards the back end. It is 9.5%, so there's some malt, good malt character in there. Uh, just a touch of, uh, not really a caramel malt, but like a sweeter bread, bready note to it. On the, on the back end, but it, it doesn't balance the beer out at all. So one way to let this beer get out of control on your palate is just let it sit on your tongue for a little bit. Because man, that just, it is very aggressively hopped. This is, you know, there's there are other IPAs in San Diego, usually you find them at pizza port locations. And of course something like Lost Abbey Mongo is very bitter, but yeah, this is uh, this is one of the most bitter beers on the planet. I don't know what the official IBUs are, regardless of that perceived bitterness on your tongue is is monstrous on this if you don't like any if you don't like super hoppy beers especially if you don't like hoppy beers that linger you're you're not going to like this beer i think it's really well done i think my palate can handle this type of beer now uh it and if you don't think it's hoppy your palate is lupulin shifted to hell and back because this is a, a very intensely bitter beer and i've been drinking quite a few ipas lately and this is still like 
really intense. So with that factor, uh, drinkability's hurt a little bit, but other than that, it's, it's a fantastic double IPA. If, if you're a hop head, you're gonna love this one. I'm gonna go with an A minus. Is it the most drinkable double IPA ever? No, um, but man, if you're craving that hot, that really intense hot bitterness, this is gonna hit the spot big time for you. So that's gonna wrap it up for this one. Until next time, please comment and subscribe. Cheers.